Today we're going to look at how we can use Siri shortcuts to make capturing things in Things 3 super easy, super quick, and you never have to open up the app. Let's talk tech. How's it going? Will here. And today we're going to look at how we can quickly capture things into Things 3 without having to open up the app using shortcuts. Now, I have to put a warning out there or a caveat, if you will. I am a diehard OmniFocus user. And the only reason why I'm not using OmniFocus to do this demo is because I feel like more people inside of my audience prefer things three. But me personally, I use OmniFocus for everything. However, what I use things three for is to just capture digital product ideas. That's it. All right, so here we are on my iPad. I'm going to open up my workflow for creating a shortcut. So I'm just going to open up my shortcut workflow. And as you can see, it's right there. And right now, what you can see is I get, I'm met with two boxes. So I'm going to actually add a new one. This is going to be things three. So I'm going to say create. This is allowing me to know what I want to do even before I get started. So I know some people don't do this, but for me, I find it's easier for me to do this than to just jump in blindly to it. So what I want to do is I just want to quick capture. All right. So here we go. I, would, I want a quick capture, which this honestly should be like maybe one or two inputs if if that, but let's see. All right. So I know I need an ask for input. And then after that, I should be able to pass that through to things three. Now things three did get an overhaul of new stuff. So let's see what I, let's see what we have going on. So I'm going to actually be building this inside of my dashboard because this is something that I actually want to hold on to. So I'm going to build it over here. So I'm going to say new. I'm going to say product ideas. So this is going to be product ideas and I'm going to change this to blue because that's what all my quick captures are labeled as blue. And I'm going to call this, let's see here. I'm going to give it a credit card. All right. So I know this is product ideas. And now what I want to do is the first things first, we can come over to things three. And we could take a look at what shortcuts they have because honestly, I haven't really created any shortcuts yet. So I know just looking at this, I want to create a new project. So all my shortcuts are going to be a project versus a note. Now, the difference in notes and projects is, you know, when you put in a task, well, I should say tasks and projects is when you put in a task, it's just, you know, I want to make sure I sit down and cut this video. That's a task. I click. Take, take it off. A project would be, you know, I want to edit the video. You have multiple steps. So if I'm thinking of a product idea, it's going to be multiple steps. So that's the reason why I want to go ahead create project. So I'm going to do create project and the title is going to be ask for input. Now, honestly, I could choose an area. I could choose a start time, deadline, tags. I could always make, I could you know, change it and do some of these. These are being pulled from my tags that's in my app already. So I'm going to say show with run, turn that off. And I mean, honestly, that's it. Now for notes, here's what I want to do for note. I want to add in an X each time for note as well. And the reason why is because if I have a project idea, I want to be able to write that project idea and write a note to know what I was thinking when I did it. All right. So an easy way to try it is to just click on play. I'm going to give it a title. So things three essentials is going to be the product idea. I'm going to say done should ask me for, okay, what's my thoughts around this? These are my notes. So I will put, all right. So for my notes, I put, I would like to create a course based around the basics of getting started with things three and XYZ problem with my XYZ method. Now, XYZ is just a placeholder. So I would do some research and figure out what's the biggest problem people are having, not with things three, but with what things three can solve. And then I would want to give it some type of unique name. And that's why I call it XYZ method. So then after that, I would say, okay, done. So at this point, I can come over to things. So we can just type in things, click on it. And we can see that is right here. 
So because it's a project, it get put right here and we can see that's right there. And then down here, I like to hit the globe icon and give it a little checkbox. So I would make the checkbox this because it is a productivity course. And then after that, I would drag it and drop it into things three essentials, digital product ideas, a bunch of that. So that's how I would use it. Now, the one last thing I would want to do over here is after it does that, I would want it to open that. I will say open open app. I'm just gonna click here, click on that. And then after it does this, I want it to open things three. So I'm gonna just say click open things three. And I can have it as a slide over, so it'll slide over here real small, but I don't want to do that. I want it to open up the whole thing. So now we can do this again. We can say test run. I can say test. I can say done. I can say test two. I can say done. And now on the side, you can see it opens it up and here's it right here. So that's how I want that done. So this is a super easy way for you to be able to capture things inside of things three really, really quickly. And it's only using one action. Now, if you don't put, for example, if you don't want to put a note, you don't have to say ask for each time. Ask for each time just prompts you to write something in there. I want that because that's what I want to do. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. And it's literally one action just to get started with learning series shortcuts for productivity can't be any easier than that. And the same thing is true with OmniFocus 3. Now, it's one more thing I want to do with this. So I can see that the name of this is called Product Idea. So since it's Product Idea, and I want to come back over to Product Ideas, and I want to actually just take that part off because I don't want it to open up to create the project. I don't, that's the whole purpose of me being able to write the title and the notes in. I want to get that idea out. And then after that, I want to continue on with my day. So I don't, I personally don't want that. But if you did, that's how you would do it. With that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the very next tutorial. Till next time. Later.